So, interesting news about the uh, DNC here. Uh, the DNC is... <laughs> they're going virtual, which is great. I'm happy that they're pretty much listening to the CDC and going virtual. Um, and it's going to be two hours a night over three days. So, thankfully, it's not, you know, the whole freaking day. And you're sitting there listening to a bunch of boring-ass speakers uh, during the day. And then at night, they get the good ones out. Uh, but there's already a problem right here. There's already a problem with the speaker. So, first off, uh, the DNC is trying to get more Republicans than Democrats on the speaking ticket. Now, they're saying, hey, there's not a lot of time. We're only doing two hours a night. But they have time to get the Republicans. So, let's take a look. John Kasich. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how else to put this, but John Kasich, a Republican who doesn't even describe himself as a moderate, Planned Parenthood defunding, doesn't, you know, agree with abortion, doesn't agree with taxing the rich, doesn't agree with Medicare for all, living wage, none of that. They want him there. Uh, this article says they are trying to get Republicans... Who are, who have an expertise in national security. Yes. Okay, so they're trying to get Republicans who are expertise in getting our kids and taking them to war. Illegal, offensive, endless wars that break international law and kill thousands of our troops. Also that we can get oil and lithium and, uh, and nylon, uh, and, and and any other kind of resource or minerals uh, in the Middle East. Those guys. You got those guys. A bunch of bloodthirsty people who have killed minimum 200,000 people in good old Iraq. You think those people are the ones you should have, right? Okay. Uh, Barack and Michelle Obama. Now look, um, they say, oh, well, they're the two most popular figures in the Democratic Party. Now, look, they're popular. They're not immensely unpopular. They're very, very, very popular, but not as popular as an independent or AOC. Why have Michelle Obama? She was a first lady, uh, you know. Barack was the president. I, I understand, like, Barack is now the senior statesman. It was Bill Clinton for, like, eight years. <laughs> Actually, 16. Now, I need to attack this, Barack, right? Uh, I will. Anyway, uh, thanks, Bill. Uh, so now Barack's in charge of that, Obama. Hillary and Bill Clinton. Now, they're saying that Bill Clinton is expected to be there, but maybe not. So wait, hold on. Why Hillary, the person who lost to the clown in the White House, you're going to have her, her speak over... Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, come on. Wow. And then, uh, now you got Bernie Sanders. Okay. They're going a little bit to the left. So you got Bernie there. That's good. Um, but you don't have AOC. You don't have AOC because the right... Is um already pinning Joe Biden to the left, the radical left, when that couldn't be further from the truth. He doesn't agree with defunding the police. He doesn't agree with Medicare for all. He doesn't want to do a living wage. He doesn't want to do a wealth tax. He doesn't want to do free college, housing for all, jobs for all, forgiving student debt, forget, uh, forgiving uh, medical debt. Nothing. He wants to just fund the Wall Street tycoons and the billionaires. And the big bankers and the hot shots and the CEOs. And then screw over the rest of us. So they're saying, well, uh, we don't want him to t tie Joe Biden. We, want, we, we don't want Trump to tie him to the radical left. They're already going to do that, you, 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 you dummies. They're already going to do that. Why are you not putting AOC in there? The person who cares about immigrants, the person who cares about the working class, whether you make a dollar or 15 bucks an hour, whether you can put food on the table, pay your rent, 
pay your mortgage and actually have money left over. Whether you can get paid leave, paid family leave, paid medical leave, paid vacation time. That's the person you don't want there. But a person who kept us in wars, started bombing seven countries, had a 90% civilian death rate. You want him there. I'm talking about Barack Obama. You want a Republican named John Kasich. They're, they're propping up former Republican presidents like George H.W. Bush, or I'm sorry, George W. Bush, and they're saying, oh, oh, well, well, see, Trump is so terrible that we have to prop up men who took us into wars and caused a great recession and um, uh, bombed the crap out of different countries. Yeah, we got to prop him up because Trump bad. But you don't want the person that's immensely popular for caring about the issues. Oh, we don't have enough time because it's only two hours a night. Oh, but let's get Republicans in the damn speeches. Let's get Republicans, not Democrats. Just because they're against Trump. Now, remember, they're not against Trump because, oh, you know, we, I, you know, he's giving too much to the rich. He's not helping the poor. You know, he's not really helping the average people like you and me. No. No, 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 no. They're having Republicans who don't care about you. That's who they're getting. Republicans who don't care about you to go, Oh, we hate Trump. Oh, yes, yes, we definitely hate Trump. Wow. Wow, you guys are a bunch of dummies. Bunch of pukes, as Jimmy Dore calls you. DNC don't care about you. Joe Biden doesn't care about you. Because he's got no policies, as I said in my video titled, Joe Biden's surrogates are a bunch of bootlickers, they just don't get it. Joe Biden's got no policies because he doesn't want to talk policy because he knows that his policies are completely unpopular and they're a bunch of corporatist policies. They don't care about you. They don't want someone who's like you and me. They don't want someone who worked as a bartender, who worked as an activist who lost her home, whose family had to chip in everything to move her to the Bronx so that they could go to school, like so that she could go to school. They don't want someone who who understands the homeless crisis going on in this country. They don't want someone who's not bought by corporate lobbyists and overlords. They want all these nonsense Republicans at the DNC, the Democratic National Convention, Oh, because they they hate Trump, not for his policies. They love his policies, but just because he wears a facade, just because, yeah, we might be going to war. Yeah, we might be giving more to the rich. We might be doing this when we were doing that. But at least he wears a facade and makes it all seem okay and like normal. Wow. So they don't care about me and you. They care about their higher powers. That's what they care for. Enough to have Republicans at the National Convention. Let me ask you, when's the last time that the Republicans went, oh, okay, we got to have some Democrats at our convention. Come on, get us some Democrats, please. Please, someone, get us some Democrats. Never. Never. It's never been done. This is incredibly enraging. And it shows you the DNC doesn't care about you. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they're liars. All right? And they're believing the media. By the way, a poll, 19% of young people are the only ones who care about the media in the young. Only ones. You want to know why Joe Biden's underwater with young people? This is why. This is it. Because they don't care about me and you. All they care about is their freaking donors. That's it.